Hello. This is a video about making creamy lemon miso dressing. We're making uh, just a simple dressing today. I have an assistant in the kitchen today. This is Grady. Uh, I'm actually going to be directing Grady as he makes this and hopefully that's going to be easier for you right to, to have instructions because I'm going to be instructing him like I'm instructing you. This first ingredient is miso. Uh, you can tell I love the stuff. I buy it in a big container. I actually get this from the Japanese store, um, but you can also get it at um, the natural food store or you can get it um, uh, at, at your regular grocery. So uh, our first ingredient is one quarter of a cup. So Grady, we're going to need a quarter of a cup. Here you go. No, uh, no you're not going to use that. I'll give, you a, I'll give you a quarter of a cup. Here it is. Yes, you're going to put that in there. And then we're going to actually use this measuring cup uh, to whisk it. I have a little whisk here. Um, so we're going to put all the measured ingredients um, in that cup. That's close enough. We're making salad dressing. It doesn't need to be perfectly perfect in the measurements. And our next ingredient is a half a cup of fresh lemon juice. What do you do if you don't have a fancy a fancy lemon squeezer? I have a non-fancy lemon squeezer. Let me see if I can get that up for you. Here's my non-fancy lemon squeezer. Okay, but I also don't own one of those. You don't? No. How, how do you live? <laughs> Um, here's one of the things that I will do uh, is I will take a knife or a fork and I'll put it um, in in the uh, half of a lemon and manipulate it like this and squeeze it that way. So that's if you don't have those tools. Hey, use a fork. Okay, let's not step my hand. Good idea. Okay, but you get the picture. This this fork is doing uh, the work of those tools. We need a half a cup and we just have a quarter of a cup. Yeah. I might need to get him another lemon out of the fridge. You want to pick the lemon or the, the fruit, really, that yields to gentle pressure. I generally don't compost this much citrus. Uh, compost has a hard time uh, breaking down citrus. But we're using this uh, not as a measuring cup, but as our uh, what, where we're putting all the things we have measured in. It's fairly close to a half a, of a cup. It's not uh, completely half a cup, but we're going to go with that. Will you pour uh, the lemon juice um, into our container uh, with the miso? What is miso? Uh, miso is fermented soybeans. Miso will actually help usher radiation out of your system. And they've done some tests in, on this uh, in Japan, actually, and I have linked to it. Grady, we need a quarter of a cup of maple syrup. You can also use agave. There you go, and he's pouring that in. Our next ingredient is, <clears throat> you can either use uh, low sodium soy sauce or Bragg's liquid aminos. One of the things we like about it is that it's gluten free. Uh, so that's really nice. And it uh, does also have a lower sodium content than most soy sauces. Grady, we need a quarter of a cup. We also are going to need a half a cup of cashews that have been soaked overnight. Close. Uh, is good uh, for this recipe. For the cashews, uh, they're going to be blended. Um, I have a, um, a high-powered blender, um, so I don't actually soak uh, my cashews. But if you don't have a high-powered blender, uh, then you'll need to soak them and soak them overnight, which makes them, uh, it makes the recipe creamier, actually, to soak them. Um, and it also uh, makes it easier on your blender if you don't have one of the high-powered ones. Okay, our recipe calls for a half a cup of cashews. They're soaked, drained, and rinsed, which is what the recipe calls for. Okay, we're going to put that in the blender. Um, our next ingredient is broth. Uh, so I use broth. Uh, sometimes I make my own uh, homemade broth. Sometimes I use this as a Trader Joe's version organic. Um, broth. Uh, sometimes I also use this uh, bullion, which I think is really um, economical and ecological because you're not uh, having all these containers. But I happen to have some broth already in the refrigerator uh, that's been opened. Uh, so I think I'll use this one for today. 
and we need a quarter of a cup. You can also use water in this recipe uh, if you don't have broth. And then the last ingredient is uh, onion powder. Now we need uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of onion powder. Uh, this is a half teaspoon. So we need three quarters of a teaspoon. That, uh, that math doesn't. That, that, doesn't, that, doesn't, that, doesn't, that math doesn't do good for you. No. Come on, Grady. You can do this. Well, well yeah. Well, how do you know half? This is a round thing. There you go. See how you do? So that could the, be anything. Right. But that one of the ways that I do is I actually get half of it. Ah, uh, you're gonna whisk. All right. Uh, and then once you are all whisked up, I want you to pour the whole thing into this container, and then we're going to blend it. How do, you, how do I know when I'm all whisked up? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, you know, we are going to blend it. So um, what we don't want to do is when we pour it in there, we don't want a lot of stuff left in the bottom. If there was a little bit of extra stuff at the bottom, what I would do is I would get a little bit of, of broth and then pour it in there, and then we're good to go. I'm going to go back over here and turn on my blender. I put it on starting on low, and then I turn it up to high, and, and I watch it, and you'll see that it gets real creamy. And I turn it up. All right, now, stay right there, because I'm going to have you look at this. I'm going to look inside and have you see that the what's in there is, is really nice and smooth, right? Okay, I might scrape down the sides a little bit and do it one more time, just because that's me. I like to make it super smooth. We always, you want to taste as you go. Is there a way to make this if they don't have a blender? And not with, with nuts. They would need to use a, a different um, product. Um, and I haven't really uh, tested that recipe, like possibly you could make it with silken tofu instead of nuts. Um, and then you need to whisk it really, really well. Mm -hmm. If someone doesn't have a blender, should they contact you for that? Should they contact me about that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you don't have a blender, for sure. All right, so Grady's got a piece of lettuce. He's going to dunk it in. What am I tasting for? You're, you're just tasting like, is this good? Am I going to am I gonna enjoy this salad with this dressing on it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's the answer you're looking for. It's not as like sweet as I thought. I thought that was a lot of maple syrup, but right. it doesn't taste sweet. No, it, it, what it does is it counterbalances that, that lemon juice. One last question is, Please. most salad dressings are made with oil. You put no oil in here. Why is that? <laughs> well, uh, as you'll notice as we go along, I don't cook with oil. Um, I sometimes use oil like to uh, put in a pan, um, you know, to help things not stick. Uh, but I don't use oil in cooking. I, I don't, it's not a whole food. I like to eat whole food. Uh, and so I do not think oil is a health food. <laughs> I know there's controversy about that. Um, you know, people say, oh, but olive oil is good. Oh, but coconut oil is good. And, and, and I do use, and I do use some oils, um, uh, especially in, um, uh, desserts, but desserts, um, are not the main dish, and desserts are, are not something we generally have every single day. Good? Are we good? We're good. Great. Thank you. Good work, you guys. Beautiful. Thank you.